Hi there, it's Jeff from Hot Tub Owner HQ. And as you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, I love soaking in my hot tub with my toddler, Layla. She's just a little bit over three years of age, and she and I have been soaking together for about a year. We love soaking in here, but today I wanted to address the question of, is it safe for kids to get in a hot tub? And if so, what age is appropriate for them to start soaking in a hot tub? I'm going to share with you what works for me. That is not necessarily what I'm recommending for you. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a qualified health professional. I'm not qualified to make recommendations of this nature to you. I do know hot tubs and I do know kids and I'm going to tell you what works for me. And then I'm also going to share with you what some medical professionals such as the CDC, the Mayo Clinic, and the Consumer Products Safety Commission have to say about children and hot tubs. That way you have all the information to make your own decision about what's right for you and for your family. Let's get into that now. So first of all, I set my hot tub temperature to 98 degrees Fahrenheit. I set it that way all year long. I feel like that's a nice, safe temperature for my toddler and I to soak in. Now with her attention span, 10, maybe 15 minutes max is about all that she wants to do anyway. And that's perfect. And 98 degrees allows us to be able to do that without me feeling like she's at risk of dehydration or overheating. Now, the CDC, it's important to point out, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control here in the U.S., recommends never letting children under age five in a hot tub. They don't explain why they feel that way. It could be their concerns about bacteria level in the water. It could also be concerns about the water temperature. They don't clarify why they make that recommendation. The Association of Pool and Spa Professionals, though, they say that as long as a child can stand on their own and that their head is fully above water, that it's acceptable to get in a hot tub. And of course, at age three, Layla can more than stand in here unassisted and her head is well above the water. So according to them, it would be acceptable. According to the CDC, it would not. The Mayo Clinic says that young children can quickly become overheated in a hot tub. However, they kind of contradict themselves elsewhere on their website because they say with regards to toddlers in a bathtub that just don't exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit for the bathwater temperature. And of course, most of us don't keep a thermometer uh, by our bathtub, so most of us don't even really know what the water temperature is in a bath. But at 98 degrees, I'm well under that 100 degree threshold that they recommend for toddlers and baths. So that's what they have to say. Again, a little confusing there. The Consumer Product Safety Commission, their primary concern with children in hot tubs is drowning. So of course, right out of the gate, I want to suggest that you never let a child of any age use a hot tub unsupervised. In other words, don't ever let them get in there by themselves. I have never let Layla in the hot tub without me being in there with her. And that's what I recommend for you as well. Don't ever let a child in your hot tub without you being in there with them. That way you can just kind of make sure that everything's okay. You could look for signs of dehydration or overheating and you can respond quickly. And of course, piggybacking on that, it goes without saying that lots of adults enjoy an alcoholic beverage in their hot tub. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm not saying I've never done that. But don't ever consume alcohol if you're getting in a hot tub with a child. I feel like it's not worth the risk of possible impaired judgment and you're be not being able to protect them in the hot tub water, either from overheating, dehydration, etc. So don't ever use alcohol if you're getting in your hot tub with your kids. I just feel like that's a good rule of thumb. Now, it's also worth pointing out that here in Central Texas, in the middle of July, it could be 110 degrees out and the hot tub water could easily get over 100, even if I have it set to 95. So what I do in the summertime is I put my hot tub to either economy mode or sleep mode. Your hot tub may have one or both of those modes, but what that does is it allows the heater to only kick on during the filtration cycles. And then that drops the temperature of the water as much as 20 degrees from what you have it set to. Now, the reality of it here in Texas, if it's 110 outside, the water's never gonna get 20 degrees below what I have it set to, but it could get somewhere around 95, which is probably about right to soak in in the middle of summer when it's hot outside. 
But again, 98 is what I have mine set to most of the year. I don't ever set it above that. And if it were to get above 100, I would never get in with my toddler. I just feel like that's the best practice. Again, that's not what I'm recommending for you. I'm not making recommendations for you and children in hot tub use. I'm telling you what works for me and my toddler and my family. And I'm telling you what the professionals say. And as you noticed here, that sometimes those things are different. So you're going to have to make your own decision, consult a doctor just to be on the safe side. Do what feels right for you and your family. I will also say that our older two daughters, who are now 12 and 13, they were getting in the hot tub with me at that same age also, and we've never once ever had an issue. The only other thing that I will say with regards to children in hot tub, of course, the younger the child, the less developed their immune system is going to be, so that makes the water chemistry all that much more important. Water chemistry is important for adults too, but it's really important for people with compromised immune systems or people who are young like toddlers. So you always want to make sure you're taking care of your water, your pH, your alkalinity, your sanitizer, and your shock. Make sure those things are 100% every time you soak, no matter what the age of the person soaking in. But it's especially important with young children if that's what you're doing. Anyway, this is just a short video telling you what I do, telling you what the experts say. That way you can make your own decision and an, make an informed decision as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It sends a great signal to YouTube and then they're going to show it to more hot tub lovers just like you. Then smash that subscribe button and the bell notification button too. But with that, I'll see you in the next video.